All right, welcome back to our restaurant project. In the next couple of videos, we are going to do the main interface that interacts with the customer and our order class, register class, menu class, and item class. We can think about this interface in the way um, of what might happen when you actually go into a restaurant and make an order. So if you don't have the previous test lines commented out, go ahead and comment those out in your main. And then so that when you come in, the first thing that's going to happen to you is that you are going to usually be welcomed by somebody. So we'll make a, a comment that says print out a greeting. And we'll say system.out.println welcome to Tom Kuhn system.out.print ln we serve a variety of Asian dishes of if you have multiple lines you want to print out you can just separate a long line into many lines or a couple of lines in a logical place so in this case we're gonna separate this sentence into two cases and we'll say after the uh, we'll split the line and leave the second line for our Chinese Korean and Japanese origins and we'll put a um, now you can either put a return character in here if you want an extra line this will give you an extra line but you can also put in a blank print statement if you want an extra blank line like so And we can go ahead and compile this and test it out. And then you read out, here's your welcome message. Okay, so then um, in the next line, you um, somebody's going to hand you a menu. So therefore, we need to create an instance of our menu. And we'll say menu is equal um, menu menu is equal to new menu. And then you want to place an order. And in order to do this, you will need to create a new instance of order. So we'll say order, order is equal to new order. Now, when somebody asks you, um, you might want to read either the entire order um, or part of the order when you get a menu in front of you you can quickly browse to the entire thing but maybe we actually want to give the person um, the option of looking or getting a particular part of the menu back so they can order appetizers and then when they get their appetizers they can order a main dish and So what we can do then is um, maybe we want to print out the entire menu. So we can say system.out.println menu. And we'll go ahead and compile that.
Let's not like it because I'm. Um, should allow that. And then let's go ahead and run it. And we can see, should be able to see the entire menu in front of us. Okay, so let's say we want only to see a section of the menu. So we can say, we can say system.out.println which section and then we'll want to give them a choice so what I like to do is put in brackets for their choices so we can say appetizers noodles main dishes and See, I'm forgetting one or beverages. And uh, instead of commas, I'm going to put in brackets in each of these so that someone knows that these are possible choices. In a graphical user interface, someone might click on one of these, but because they're in brackets, hopefully that will indicate to the person that they can type in one, to, one of these choices. And we'll go ahead and then we need to scan in their choice. So we need to say string um, section is equal to scan.next and we want to uh, makes it easier on us if it's too lowercase so we're also going to call to the lowercase method on whatever they scan in so we know that it's all in lowercase now in order to scan something in we'll need to create a um, instance of the scanner so I'm going to go up here to the top and I'm going to create an instance of the scanner. So we'll say scan scanner reader is equal to new scanner system dot in. And I will I'm going to go ahead and quit right here and um, we'll continue this in the next episode of the main interface.